Good morning, we are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. Today, we have not mentioned this at all. It's a little bit of unexpected, exciting fun. I'm actually going to Chicago tonight. Um, it, I'm not gonna give the details just why, it's, it's great reasons, um, just not my personal news to share, um, but it's important for me to go, and so I am headed there for, I'm getting in there late tonight, and then I'll be there two full days and I'll leave Tuesday morning. Um, so it's a little overwhelming, leaving the boys, getting situated, it's kind of been, not totally last minute, but, pretty last minute um, and so just like wrapping my head around the fact that it's happening so today is going to be a little bit different this the next couple of days are going to be a little bit different um, but Hetty's down for a nap and I'm going to get some stuff situated so that we can have like a nice afternoon together before I head out tonight <laughs> Sometimes you have uh, a lot of emotions. Sometimes you just need a trip to Publix <laughs> to, to blow off some steam and to relax. So for anybody who doesn't live in the South where there's Publixes, they have uh, cookie time. And so little kids can come in and grab a cookie. So we're perusing some fruits and veggies, enjoying a cookie, having a good morning, right? If you are a pickle person, these, this popcorn, the still pickle popcorn from Aldi is so good. Move to the captain's seat. This will be great for them to keep each other company while I'm out of town. Maybe we'll just keep it this way. We're all packed up. Got my bag ready. We're gonna go to Epcot before they take me to the airport. there do something with the kids I always get more than I'm supposed to <laughs> I was supposed to just get a lumpia and instead I got two lumpias they're so yummy and a 12 and ounce bloom hazy IPA wow so you know this is what happens when Sarah leaves <sighs> I don't know I I'm gonna be told the vlog? We haven't told the vlog. I told the vlog in the intro okay I'm going to Chicago I get on vacation mode and I get, I get my crazy. own my own kind of crazy <laughs> when we're when I travel so Maybe I'll, maybe I'll rein it in. MCO. 
having dinner. Excuse me, Barkey. <laughs> Give me one a martini as, as Sarah's dad will order. They have chopped down at the UK Pavilion for Coronation Day. It's fine. Oh, so cute, James. Oh, you put it on. Good job. Good job. <laughs> what do you do when mom needs to put your little brother down for a nap? You get lost in the shrubs, because I forgot what this is called. Wow, well, band's about to play. This way. Uh oh, let's try this way. Zero minutes to the next show. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I've never been here. Never been here before in my life. And neither has he. This is beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're in Germany. I saw a TikTok about a treat in the back of this pavilion that I'd never seen before, pretzel bread pudding. So I think we're gonna try it. Yeah, and we're on like a little date right now because the bittersweet part is the boys just both fell asleep. I know, and I, we have to leave soon to get to the airport. And so I'm I, I just don't want them to be asleep when I go. They'll wake up when we move in the car. I think so. Look at these cute bell ringers. But I still wanna spend time with them. It is sweet. I figured bread pudding, it could go either way. Yeah? Good? Yeah. One out of two. ten. Eight. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Perfection. So good. Not too sweet. Not too savory. Uh, I'll have banana. I wish it was a little warmer. Like, yeah. This is like phenomenal. Like so, so up our ass. Yeah. Who would love this? Your dad. Your dad would love that. We are back at Farmer's Feast. This is the new summer menu we had shown earlier in the festival. The spring menu. So it's bruschetta and swordfish and rhubarb upside down cake. I think we're gonna try. Wow. All right, coming from the person who doesn't like fish, we've already tried it. What do you think? It tastes like steak. It's so good. It's the it's the sear on it. Yeah, but it's like it was so so tender to cut. It's a really good portion too. It's and the asparagus. We'll see if I like that. asparagus. It's kind of hit or miss. <laughs> I'm sure the tail's good. I feel like we haven't been here with this many flavors back in a while. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm having a little bit of a taste test. Um, when did he get so old? Don't, <laughs> don't, don't mind his eye. I got a, uh, some sunscreen in his eye. Oh no. And I feel awful. <laughs> We're at a strange spot in the day where we don't have enough time to do another loop. And with t James being asleep, there's not much we can do in Future World. But we don't want to leave just yet because we want to go straight to the airport and, and drop Sarah off. And we want to spend time together. So, I, like, we like, well, you could go on space for with Teddy, but, like, then we'd be apart. So, Teddy's going to roam around the playground over here in Future World. Yeah. Sarah's going to crawl on, too. since Sarah left. Um, drove home, took a bit. Teddy was not thrilled on the drive home, um, but we got home safe and sound. We had dinner and then we did, we let them, I let them play because they haven't been home for a while. And then uh, we did bats, which was not bath night, but Teddy had so much fun at the playground at Epcot. Then, uh, I mean, doesn't look like it, but 
you have experience playing the playgrounds, the ground was filthy and it, it really exposed itself on Teddy's leg. It was just like dirt. And it was, all right, we're doing bath nights. So then we had baths and then that kind of went into just pajamas and bedtime. Um, it was interesting to figure out how I wanted to do bedtime with both of them at the exact same time. And luckily, and this is probably gonna be the strategy for the next couple of nights, is just get them utterly exhausted. Um, because typically it's a it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Sarah will take one of them, I'll take the other one of them, and they both have their own way of going down to sleep. And it doesn't really vibe together, but luckily today, um, I actually got them both to sleep in James's room. Uh, Teddy first, and I just let him chill on the bed while I got James to go to sleep. And once James was asleep, I transferred J Teddy back to his his room, and then I uh, cleaned up. So I was just kind of like making sure I stick to the routine, even though Sarah's not here, because uh, we want a clean house in the morning and clean bottles and dishes and everything. Plus, so this whole like two parter day at home, day out, day at home, day out. Um, I might throw that for a curveball because Sarah's not here this weekend. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be an at-home day, but I think I might go out for a couple hours. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off now, even though I'm going to kind of hang out and uh, wait until I hear that Sarah's plane lands and that she gets in the car safe and sound. But uh, from here in Florida, it's good to be home. I have made it to Sweet Home Chicago. Now I need to make sure I get to my car rental before midnight. I think I should be fine, but I'm also going to save some battery on my phone, but I'm here. Good morning. We're so happy you're here. I don't know if Peter started vlogging today, but I might even just put this clip ahead of that because I never said that I got to my sister Christina's house safely last night. We had a little kerfuffle with my rental car. We actually booked it for today instead of yesterday. <laughs> We're not really sure what, when, what happened, um, but I am going to have an Uber now to go back to the airport to get the, um, I was able to change the time to this morning instead of tonight. And then I'm going to head on my quest and I will be sharing why I'm here. Um, I'm just going to wait until I'm with the people, um, that I'm so excited to be here for visiting, um, so first, airport, car, probably maybe stop one little place, and then head on over. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. We're having some breakfast, I made some scrambled eggs. Yeah. We had a good night's sleep. Hey, you want some eggs? No. Do you want some of these eggs? No, no, no. Ah. All right, do it. First, I'm gonna hang out with these goons for a bit. Uh-oh. And this is Vivi's newest skill. Ready, girl? Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay, Vivi! Ooh. <laughs> that look. Alrighty, I made it into my Ford Escape. I got an upgrade. It's fun because my sister had a Ford Escape like in high school, and this is very different from that. Um, but on my way, I got like an hour drive, headed up north. All right, you guys know what this is? You guys know where we are? Hollywood Studios, I got the boys with me. We're not doing a huge park heavy day because it is supposed to be a rest day, and I got some stuff around the house I want to do. But I'm thinking if we can do Lightning McQueen and Frozen, maybe spend a little bit of time at Crescent Lake. That'd be a fun day, right? Um, so just a few hours is what we're hoping to get in here. Uh, Teddy's due for a nap. We got snacks, popcorn bucket. Should be a great time. And like that, we are in. It's like not too hot yet. There's a little bit of a breeze and like scattered clouds. So we keep getting like relief. Um, I think we're gonna shoot for the 1230 frozen so we're gonna do some shopping I think first <laughs> Stop, this is the 
Junior dance, play and dance. Right. We got loaded. We got sunblock soaking in while we're doing this, so we're prepared for the day. We're gonna dance it out. Woo! All the birthdays this month, Patty. The big one. All right, we were gonna try to go for Frozen. The 12.30, but I don't know how long it says 40, but it doesn't look like a 40 minute wait, but he just needed to get in line. Let's go. All right, the kids are being great. It's been about 20 minutes, so I don't think we're gonna quite make the 40 minute uh, wait time, but it's still, that's not a bad wait at all for this ride. <laughs> This is the next clutch move. I got a 22 ounce beer, a strawberry lemonade in honor of mama for Jamesy. We have a steak puff pastry, which we've never had before. I think it's newer and a sleeping teddy. And hopefully this dude sleeps after this little snack and lunch break. All right, so here is the puff pastry. There's onions, cheese, and thinly sliced steak inside that puff right there. Does this look like peppers, like a little chutney? Ooh. All right, it's 1.50. Teddy's just woke up. So you know what, I think we're gonna go ahead and shoot for the 2.30 Frozen show. I think uh, that would be the extent of what we wanted to do today, because I, I, like I said, I got some stuff at home I wanna do. Plus I don't wanna overdo it with the boys, because I'm hoping to go out tomorrow too, after work. Uh, it's been a really great day. James, Teddy got like an hour nap in. James has not fallen asleep yet, but maybe he'll fall asleep on the way home after. Frozen. It's been just a really special time to come to, to the parks with just my kids here. Like something I quite literally never th ever thought would happen or could happen at times like 
never thought any of it would happen. So, just very happy, right? Sometimes you gotta take a break in the tune-in lounge before Frozen and escape from some sun and give some battle action and get a kitty cocktail, so. Whoa. A lot of mommy and dad's friends growing up, their basements look like this in the Midwest, Jamesy. My dreams have come true. We're seated for Frozen. Ready to go. Greetings, friends. about four hours I think we're good we got two shows in plus an attraction plus snacks plus nap everyone's awake Teddy or James needs a nap but we are gonna head out and have a fun night at home so an interesting thing happened and Teddy or James fell asleep on the drive home so that's pretty cool Teddy and I have just been hanging out where's he at there he is We've just been hanging out and uh, we have some trout and coffee on in the background. Hey baby. Just having some good times. Mm -hmm. It'll be this for the rest of the night until bedtime. Boop. 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 Whoa, he's a big kid standing on his own. Let me take a step. Come here. Come here. Ah. <laughs> Hello, the boys have seemed like they have had a wonderful day um, at Hollywood Studios, and I'm here to pop in and share with you my fabulous news and why I'm in Chicago. I'm sorry, I sound a little weird. I just had like the funniest like choke on your spit situation. So I feel like I have like a little bit of a frog in my throat now, but anywho, I wanted to share that our very dear friends, Lauren and Mikey um, and Lucy, they welcomed a brand new baby into their family very recently. And I have been lucky enough to travel here to be able to meet um, the baby and help out as much as I can. I'm actually going to Trader Joe's to get some groceries to cook so that I can put stuff in their freezer and just provide them with some yummy easy nourishment and I'll be there tomorrow um, and I was there today and so I go home on Tuesday so it's just a quick trip but it's super special and um, yeah I just feel very fortunate to be able to meet her and um, share that and so that's why I'm here um, so I'm gonna shop and then head back to the Sicards for the night um, the night got weird guys so first of all James never woke up from his nap it's not 9.15, and I don't know if like I'm going to have a Jamesy fully ready to party all night soon or if he's just going to power through the rest of the night. And then Teddy tried putting him down for a nap earlier. He slept for like 15 minutes and woke up in like, I couldn't tell if his belly was hurting or, or what. And then he, I think he was just mad at me for a little bit. And then I put him in the bath. Um, he was just like out of sorts for a while, and it took a long time for me to get him to go back, got to the point where like, it wasn't even time to go back for a nap. It was like, hey, it's bedtime now. It's bedtime now. So, um, I finally got him down. James is still asleep. I'm, like, wondering if he's going to wake back up or if he's going to go back to sleep or if he's going to stay asleep. Um, 
So I'm just taking like a, a mental beat here in the kitchen, hanging out with Eve. Gonna have a little bit of this ice cream Sarah picked us up, a little bit of water, and then um, kind of recalibrate. I'm gonna watch some Chef's Table, the Ivan Orkin episode. I love it. It's one of my like rainy day episodes. And so I'm just gonna take a beat, sit back, relax. Um, the house is pretty clean because we were gone for the chunk of the day and then James was asleep. We got back and he's the one who loves to take everything out. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now because I have to transfer my files over to Sarah who's gonna be editing this vlog. So it's good to be home. It was a wonderful day hanging out with my boys. Okay, my night is coming to a close over here. I'll show you what I made for Lauren in case you need some inspiration for meals for anyone in need. This is a anti-pasta pasta salad. It has, there are noodles in there. They're kind of blending in. I don't know, it's, it's probably less noodle and more other stuff. There's salami, mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, and pepperoncini in there. So I have two containers of that. I made a big pot, my easy like dumpling soup. Without the dumplings, I am giving them a separate package of the dumplings so that they can like set these up to boil and then throw the dumplings in. I have three containers of it. This one I added red Thai curry to it and then I'm gonna give them the rest of the bottle if they want to add it to the others. Um, this will be easy, yummy soup for them. I also have a pot of red sauce going. It is a, a pork roast sauce that actually only has to cook for a little bit longer. So it'll be easy for them to just throw over pasta. And then for easy breakfast or snacks, I made this little tray of oat banana chocolate bars. I saw that recipe on TikTok as well as this recipe for a tray of like egg and hash brown mix. This one's just egg and hash brown. This one has peppers and onions in it as well. So I'm gonna let these sit, slice those into bars, or like more so squares for quick breakfast or snacks for the family. And I am gonna sign off here. I'm gonna do some editing. Um, and yeah, it's been kind of a busy day since the second that we got up and going. Um, but yeah, it's been very full and tomorrow um, will also be. So hopefully I'll remember to pick up the camera a little bit more. Um, and yeah, thanks for coming along for um, this fun surprise trip. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.